evening guys. Tonight is Friday, so we're on day six of our plan. Um, I hope it's going well for you guys if you're following along. Um, I'm sticking to it pretty well. Um, the hummus today was a disappointment. I will definitely need to tweak that recipe, but I like the idea of using yogurt um, in place of the tahini slash oil. Um, I think it's a really nice way to make it sin free. So tonight we're gonna be making um, a meat-free Moroccan. To show you on the list, this is the original Slimming World recipe there. I mean, it's not really a recipe, it's more of a guide. Chuck these things together and magic will happen. I doubt magic is gonna happen based on my other experiences so far, but that's fine. Um, I'm gonna tweak it, I'm gonna make it my own. I'm not putting in apricots because I am not a fan of dried fruit in um, pretty much anything actually. I do not like dried fruit, but um, apricots are pretty good in tagine sometimes. I just wasn't gonna go out and buy some especially because I'll just sit in my cupboard forever and yeah, I, I'm not gonna miss them. So um, I'm just gonna flip and show you what we're gonna use to make the tagine. Okay, this is everything that we need. So we've got um, onion, two garlic and a chili obviously an aubergine, some chicken pieces. I'm using garlic and herb passata. Um, so it's probably gonna be quite garlicky with my garlic as well, but it's all good, I like garlic. Uh, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of cayenne, probably about a teaspoon of cinnamon, because I always think that makes a tagine taste really nice. Um, another, again, like a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and probably like half a teaspoon of cumin. I'll probably do a quarter of that one. Let's put them in order. So one, one, half, a quarter. Um, roughly, but you know, you have to taste it as you go along and see how it is. I may chuck in a stock cube as well, um, or just some salt and pepper. In fact, I'm going to throw in a stock cube as well, so um, I'll put that into the recipe on the PDF. So let's get this going. Just a quick note with how I'm going to cook this. I'm actually using a teaspoon, this has spread out, um, I'm using a teaspoon of smoked rapeseed oil to cook mine in. That's just two sins, um, and the reason why is because the meat um, substitute says to um, cook it for four minutes in a frying pan, and um, usually when they say that, it's because you get a better texture from them. So, and because it's gonna be in the stew, then I think that probably in this occasion, that is correct. So, just try and move that around. It's just heating up, um, so that will get going in quite a short space of time. Um, but yeah, so just while, once that gets going, I'm just gonna chop up my onion, garlic, chili, get those in, then chop up the aubergine, chuck that in. Then I'll add the spices, then I'll throw in the passaggio and I'll just leave it all simmering for probably 20 minutes or so. Sorry about the noise, but just to show you that this is browning really, really nicely. Um, it might start to stick when the veggies go in. So um, I may add a splash of water, but I'm just gonna pop in the onion, garlic and chili now. Smooth. Right, as you can see, the onion is starting to go, which is great. And um, I didn't need to add any water. Here's all the aubergine. Here's one. Just added the spices. I went with one heaped teaspoon of smoked paprika, one flat teaspoon each of cinnamon and cumin, and probably not even a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne just because a blinking ran out. This has been the theme this week. So that was annoying. So I'm just gonna mix this around a little bit, let it fry, um, but there's not really any juice to fry in. I really was hoping the aubergine was releasing its juice a bit. Um, and then the only thing left to add is the passata with garlic and herbs. Now, um, I have thought about it. I'm not gonna put in a vegetable stock cube because it doesn't need it, but that means I'll need to add salt and pepper, and also at the end I'm gonna squeeze a lemon in, um, and this will give it a very nice tang. So this is bubbling away nicely, and I'm just gonna leave it, um, I've just turned it down to four from seven, 
so that should calm down in just a couple of minutes. Um, meanwhile, um, I'm just going to get the stuff ready to make the couscous. The only thing I'm going to put in the couscous is some fresh mint and probably some lemon juice. Right, this is the couscous, just a covering the bottom of the bowl I'm going to eat from. And I've zested my lemon, again, just by doing it on the small side of the grater. So that's going to go in there, along with this mint that I've chopped up. And I've just cut my lemon in half, ready to squeeze into the tagine. It's not really a tagine, I shouldn't really call it that. It's an insult to tagines, really. They are slow cooked in a tagine, of course, which refers to pot rather than the dish itself. So that's my couscous. I'm not going to season it because um, Put a, a good pinch of salt in the other and to be honest I think it's just a waste of adding salt in this case and the lemon juice and zest will really make this very tasty so I should just mix that around a little bit I've already made a bit much really but hey ho at least I'll be full um, and I'll just boil the kettle let that sit for a minute and then to be honest by then it'll probably be time to dish this up Okay, heat's off, this has moved off the heat, and I'm just gonna squeeze in my lemon. Obviously, normally I do it like this, but with two hands to stop any pips falling in. Right, I've got half of it left, so I'll put that aside for another day. Now, the good news is the Vivera chicken pieces are in fact free. So that was a nice bonus, because in my head, I thought they were sins, so I was, I was putting off looking at the sins. But here is my Din Dins. Quite a big one actually but um that's fine because it's free i think that one's free it is it's totally free happy days so i'm gonna go enjoy this and i'll probably catch up with you guys tomorrow morning oh and i totally forgot to say um i've forgotten again what oh i was gonna say if you are not such a fan of spicy food and you've made yours a little bit spicy then drizzle over some of that no added sugar alpro yogurt on top um because that's sin free and that should go quite nicely with it.